Blog Talk Radio.
Again, it's important for us to realize that without faith it's impossible to please yes, God. Lord. Amen. And again, faith is not based on tangible things. Amen. Faith does not require proof. Amen. Amen. Faith is unswerving belief in things unseen. Yeah. Amen. To claim or call them as though they were. Yeah. In other words, I want a blessing. Yes, Lord. Might not have it right now. Amen. But I see it through the Hallelujah. spiritual eye of God. Amen. He made a covenant promise to me and settled it with his own blood and Amen. Now again, let's learn how to look through the spiritual eye and get caught up in the spirit. He come to church to worship yes, him, praise him, to thank him for all his blessings. Amen. Even though some of us are going through the valley right now, I'm trying to let you know something. Do not give up. And Amen. Do not Lord. Yes. Don't jump out the chair. Right, no matter how it looks, no matter how difficult the situation is, Hallelujah. and don't dodge a responsibility Amen. because it may not fit you just right at that proper time. Amen. Why is all this happening to me? How Amen. come they can't call somebody else? Why Amen. don't somebody else? On, Brothers God. and sisters, yeah. if God called you to the holiness church, Amen. He gave you a responsibility to do that Amen. you can find favor with Him. Amen. I want to speak with you tonight about favor. Amen. I'm not here by accident. That's right, Lord. And I said I've been sick of anyone in this room. Amen. And I'm still here. Glory. I found favor with God. Amen. Now anyone can find favor with the Lord. Amen. But it requires one thing. Faith. Amen. If you don't believe this, do you know you're wasting your time? Yes, right, right. Lord. You can pray. You can worship. Yeah. You can shout. Do whatever you want to do. That's but if you don't believe this, That's right. it is nothing in your life. That's right. Because God based the New Testament church on a faith principle that is unswerving. Yeah. You've got to believe it. Amen. You got to believe that Jesus is and that he's the reward of them that diligently seek him. You got to believe that he is a rewarder. Yeah. Rewarder means I'm gonna give you something that you don't have. Lord. For something Amen. that you do. Amen. Is that right? right? You ever heard of somebody getting a reward for something they did not do? Amen. Amen. If you help me catch this criminal, we're gonna give you a, a five hundred dollar reward. But if you don't help catch the criminal, you can't get the reward. Amen. Because a reward is predicated on something that you do. All right. When we understand that we have to do something in the kingdom, and everybody is obligated to do something in the Amen. kingdom. Amen. Even though you may be at a young age, Amen. there's something that you've got to do in the kingdom. Amen. So let's learn how to do it with joy yeah. and with gladness. I want to take a little thought here from uh, Numbers. 14th chapter. And uh, let's pick up in verse. Pick up verse 3. Uh, verse 2. And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron, and the whole congregation said unto them, Would God that we had died in the land of Egypt? Why would you want? Amen. To go back into the world and perish because maybe you had a little bit of comfort in the world. You had friends that didn't know Jesus. You had relatives that didn't know Jesus. You had a job that wasn't thinking about you and Jesus. But now you come to holiness, look like everything is falling apart. It's not falling apart. It's your faith being tested by fire. Amen. In the holiness church, it is a set apart church. It is called out for God's own glory. Yes. Everything we do is to magnify and glorify God. It's not based on what you might be going through at that particular time. Yes. You've got to understand everybody on earth's journey is going through something. And you will face uh, mountains in your pathway. You can't see your uh, see to figure out how you're gonna get past this 
this mountainous situation that you face with bills and creditors and everything coming against you at the same time and look like ain't nothing breaking my way and the more I serve God look at the more the enemy comes against me all right. but can't you see the handiwork of God if you look at Shiloh Amen. Lord. don't you know uh, brothers have been laid off and won't go back to work in September do you know they're not worried about where they're going to stay Amen. Lord. Lord. why can't you see that Amen. No, but you're looking at tangible. What do I have right now? What 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 am I striving for? You're striving for favor with the Lord. Amen. So when difficult situations come, you can cry out to God, and then you can rest on Him. Thank you, Jesus. Job learned how to rest on the Lord. He said, "I know my Redeemer living. I don't know how I'm gonna get out this mess, Amen. but I know one thing." God know how to get me out of this. Since God saw me when I went into it, God is able to get me out of it. But it's all how I worship and praise God through my travail and through my suffering. Glory. Y'all got to catch hold to this tonight. It's not about how you suffer or what you suffer with. It's about whether or not you have favor with God. Yes. And if you've got favor with God, He's going to bring you out. Amen. But you're going to suffer regardless whether you got God or not. Amen. Because you're going to Amen. If I'm in an earthly journey and I've got God on my side, I'm not fretful. Yeah. I'm not down. Yeah. I'm not angry. Hallelujah. I'm not waiting for a situation to come up where I can uh, 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 get them told. Uh -huh. In so many words. Amen. I straighten them out. Uh -huh. Quick. But did you have favor with God? That's right, brother. Do everything without murmuring. That's right. And complaining. Yeah. Did, did y'all know that's a statute commandment? Yeah. Any person who murmur or complain, you have violated a statute commandment, which makes you in a position of a willful sin. Yeah. Because God already told you not to murmur and complain. But Lord, I, I'm suffering. So what? Yeah. Do it without murmuring and complaining. Yeah. Matter of yeah. fact, do it with joy and gladness. Yeah. How? Someone asked question. How can you be joy, joyful, and happy when you go through all this mess? You are walking in the flesh and you've got to get rid of that flesh and get in the spirit. And if you get in the spirit, you start meditating or singing a song. Don't you know you'll start feeling a burden lifting up off you? Don't you know you can start getting joy when you start singing a song? Who are you singing to? I'm singing to myself in Jesus. Amen. Glory. Amen. In my car by myself. Yeah, that's right, Father. In the room by myself. Yeah. Or walking out or walking down the street by myself. Yeah. Or if I got somebody, I'm still by myself. Why? Because I'm talking about me and Jesus. It's a personal journey that you've got to go through yourself. You cannot hold nobody's hand and take them to glory with you. Yeah. You can't tell nobody your problem and that they'll say, Oh yeah, oh my goodness. Sister, let's pray to God, but they still don't understand what Come you're on, going to right. Cry your eyes out and they still don't understand. Yes. First of all, because they might be going through something too. Amen. Now both of y'all gonna cry together on each other's shoulder. Oh, that's Who got favor with yes. God? Yes. Who believe in the scripture? Yes. Who believe God is a deliverer? Yes. Yes. When they in their trouble give turn to the Lord, yes. the Lord heard their cry. Yes. And sent somebody to see about them. Oh, yes. That's right. Always has and always will. That's right, Prophet. Again, I'm in mean, uh, Numbers chapter uh, 14. Pick up in verse uh Verse 7. And they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we passed through to search it. Back up to verse 6. I want to connect this. And Joshua the son of Nun, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, which were of them that searched the land, rent their clothes. And they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel. Saying, now, most of the people that came back, as you know, told Moses, We can't, we can't, we can't conquer those people. If God give you a blessing, come on now, prophet, teach. You got to take that blessing. Yes. Now, if you apply it in the spiritual, God has something for you. But in order for you to take it, you got to praise Him and worship Him, and then take it by faith. I've got to take hold to it right now by faith and praising God and thanking God for giving me what I prayed for. And right. the I have to the I've got to take it right now, but I take it. If y'all can catch this spiritually, I can't take it tangibly right now because I don't have it tangibly. So I gotta take it spiritually. Amen. Now I'm proving God, either God is right or He's not right. Yes, Lord. I'm believing God to be right. Yes, Lord. Right, Lord. I'm talking about favor with the Lord. Amen. If God is right, He can't let you down. He can't fail you because there's no failure in God. Amen. Failure is in our faith walk with the Lord. And hear me. Amen. Don't fake this thing. That's right, Prophet. Amen. 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 Am
Right, Don't wait for every day to come up where you can criticize the church. Uh -huh. right, or right. criticize the leader. Uh -huh. Or criticize uh, a person who may be supervising a project. Amen. Don't do that. That's right, Father. Right. Right. You're wrong. Don't do that. That's right, Father. Lord. Amen. Everybody who's working in the big house is doing the best they can. That's right, Father. Amen. Sometimes they may come for the show. Sometimes they may call upon someone a little bit extra. Amen. But somebody got to go the extra mile. Yes. Amen, brother. Because everybody ain't going to go. Yes. So what do you do? Oh, everybody sit down? Yes. Yes. No, sir. Oh, is this one ain't going to do it? Come on, brother. Ain't gonna do it. I'll just sit down. Amen. If nobody does it, who going to worship God? Who going to represent the true church of God? Right. Who's right. going to be there when the trump of God sounds? And here God says, well, done that good and faithful service. Somebody will. Yes. Look. I'm in my mind. I'm going to be one of them. Come on, brother. I'm showing you how to have favor. That's uh, right, Pop. You do everything without murmuring and complaining. Yes. And you do everything without trying to be evasive. That's uh, right, Pop. Evasiveness is deception. Yes. And deception ain't nothing but a covered up lie. Come on, Pop. Bring it out. Teach. Don't do that. Teach, Pop. You're dealing with the willful sin again. Yeah. Teach. If a man will be saved after he comes to the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for that. No sin. more. But a certain fire of indignation that should devour. The adversary. the adversary. How much so of punishment suppose ye who have tried underfoot the Son of God and done despite to the Spirit of Truth? Is that right? That's right. That's the word. Praise God. So you can't, because you're in under the grace dispensation, you can't take what God, the sacrifice God made at Calvary and disregard it and go about your own way and still every now and then say, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because it's not registering. you got to do it from your heart. That's why God said, I search the heart of the individual. That just may be a song teaching tonight, but I want somebody to catch hold of it. We're trying to get from here to glory. We're not trying to get from here to nowhere else Amen. but the heavenly kingdom of God where there's no more sickness, no more sorrow, and no more death. Come on, Pop. Amen. And the only way we can do it is by pressing our way through. That's right. But when you press your way through, you got to do it with joy That's and right. gladness. Glory. Amen. Verse 8. If the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us into this land. If he what? Delight in us. Y'all catch that? Amen. Yes, sir. If yeah. we find favor with God, then he will bless us. Yes. If he delights in us. Come on, Father. He can't delight in no one who's going against his word. Yes. If someone is constantly complaining, he, 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 you can't find favor with him. That's right. He might want to bless you, but he can't go against his word. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And he loved everybody. That's why he died for everybody. Amen. But somebody got to love him back. Lord. Is that your body? Is what? A living sacrifice. Holy. Holy. And the next word is kind of deep there. Amen. It says acceptable. Sir, what does acceptable mean? I found favor. Amen. Yes, Lord. Lord. Oh, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Church. We have blessings. And in order to get the blessings, we have to serve God. Amen. Not to appear us with all of us together as one body in Christ. I think I shared that the other day. Amen. Got a phone call uh, today. All the carpet is finished. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. And the man came out to hang the sign. The only reason why I didn't is it's raining down there so now. Oh, amen. <laughs> Man said, I'm going to hang it in the rain. He, he said, I'm going to hang it today. But uh, uh, everybody said, you going to hang it? He said, I ain't going to hang it in the rain. <laughs> so he said, he'll come back tomorrow and hang the sign. Thank you, Jesus. Now, the oh. major part of all the money that we spent, and we spent close to $5,000 in the last 10 days. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And the major part of the expense is gone. Thank you. But we still got the front that we have to do. Yes, Lord. That's, yeah. that's going to run a couple thousand. Amen. Amen. But when that's done, then we don't have no heavy burden. Amen, brother. Because all we got to do is go on down there and worry about a little gas Amen. to get back. <laughs> Lord. Hey, man. Some of us may not worry about getting back, but we got gas to get there. Amen. We got gas to get back. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you made a way for us in Savannah, it was for a reason. Amen. The Bible says angels rejoice at one soul. One. That's saved. That's right. And comes back to God. One. One. God's interested in one soul. What was the parable? He left 
the sheep fold to go and get the one the sheep. One. Yeah, yes. we sang a song about it. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, what how's it go? Somebody, 99 and a half. No, that, that, that's different, different, same thing. But anyhow, he left the whole fold yep. because of one lost sheep. Yes. And he searched for that lost sheep. Yes. What about the rest of them? They're important, but so is that lost sheep. Yes. Amen. Y'all see what I'm I'm showing you the love and compassion of God for what? One. One. Did not tell you when we come to church, we come collectively, but one Amen. individually must serve God. Together, yes, but one. Amen. One mind that's set on Jesus. One mind that loves the Lord. One mind that's going to make up their mind. They're going to make it. They're going to run this race. Amen. You can do it. It's the purpose in your life. Everybody in this room can have favor with God, but you got to make up your mind. You got to be for real. Amen. You got to do it from the sincerity of your heart. Right, Prophet. And if you think that you're being overburdened, don't even pray to God about it. Amen. See, so say thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you for my cross. Amen. Hallelujah. Paul called the joy when he's getting ready to go and get his head cut off. Sure did. He got happy. Lord. He said, I fought a good fight. Amen. I kept the faith. That's a powerful testimony. Man getting ready to go and die, the greatest apostle of them all. Yep. Yes. Getting ready to go and die for preaching the gospel. Already got beat up for preaching the gospel. Amen. Got snake bit for preaching the gospel. And then stoned and left for dead for yes, preaching yes. the gospel. All right. Amen. What else, Lord? Well, you got to get your head cut off. <laughs> well, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I fought a good fight. Yes. Amen. I kept the faith. And Paul was a young man. Yep. I don't think he was 40. That's young. That's right. So I'm saying, brothers and sisters, they had a mission. And the mission was to preach the gospel so that there would be a recorded testimony yes. that we have right today. And we got to keep that testimony alive and well. Yes. Nobody else will but us. And we're going to do it. That's right, Father. Yes. Amen. You want to do it? Oh. We'll do that. Amen. And we're not going to be discouraged. Nope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We come to church to sing and uh, praise God and praise God and worship God. Good. Don't need nobody pumping nobody up. Amen. I'm already pumped up. Hallelujah. And if I got to make another financial sacrifice, I'll do it. Thank you, Lord. I don't know how, but I'm going to do it. Amen. Good. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to stay with Amen. the Lord. Amen. I don't want nobody. Take my blessing. That's right, Father. Hallelujah. Lord. Y'all, you can't take my blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper. Yeah. You might dig deeper than me, but I'm going to dig as deep as I can. Amen. You might give your hundred, and I'm going to give my three, four dollars. Alright. Hallelujah. But it's all I've got. Right. And the woman, praise God, came up and gave her last penny. Yeah. God says she gave more than all of them because she gave all she had. Amen. And she did it with that. There comes a time you've got to make a decision not to let flesh creep up. Hear me. Find flesh before you leave here tonight. Find flesh. Flesh, I will not let you raise up. I will kill you. I'll find you. Blog Talk Radio.